ETH researchers fitted 5.5 kilogram bells to cows on 25 different farms around Switzerland. During the three-day test period, the animals ate and rested less than normal. The researchers blame it on the cow's constant exposure to more than 100 decibels. That's above the level recommended for humans by the Swiss accident insurance fund SUVA. If you were to put this in a human context, it's just like having a pneumatic drill pounding in your ears. SUVA says the maximum noise pollution permitted in the workplace is 85 decibels, and the cowbells generate more than double this. But farmer Hans Brunner refutes the findings. He doubts that cowbells cause the animals any harm. I think the researchers just don't understand what it's all about. They should come to the Alps to find out why it's important for cows to wear bells. Every day we have to count the cattle in the mist. How can we do this without bells? His cows frequently wear bells, but he says this doesn't cause them to eat less. A cow without a cowbell is not a real cow. The tradition of wearing cowbells goes back centuries in Switzerland, and attempts to put an end to it could face stiff opposition. There are 800 cowbells in this private collection in Libingen, St. Gallen. The owner says they have three functions. First, they help to locate the animals in the mountains when it's foggy or when they get lost. Second, they're beautiful, wonderful, with all their different shapes and styles of manufacture. Third, they make lovely music. They help you to rest and recuperate in the mountains. But researchers are now exploring alternatives to the bells. For example, GPS transmitters for each cow, which would make it possible to find them with a smartphone.